Hello friends in this lecture we will explore html quotes in many cases you will need quotation marks so let's see how we can achieve that so let's go to file save this as html quotes save it let's delete everything now let's write here inside p tag say john says give a hyphen you are cool let's save it and open it in our browser john says you are cool there's nothing wrong in it but html has inbuilt tags so let's copy this one press ctrl c to copy now paste it and instead of this quote we will use q tag save it and take a look see see the difference between these these are short quotations we have another that is block quote inside block quote let's write as something say my name is john i live in london like this now let's save it and just take a look you can write here inside p tag block quote text under or say john says my name is john i live in london yep john says that yeah i heard it <laughs> okay now you can see that we have a space here it's known as padding let's provide here style equals border let's make it 5 pixel solid and make it white only hash ffff and this is how you can provide a border to an html element save it and take a look well we can't see it well because it's not border <laughs> it's border so let's change it yep now it's fine John says my name is John I live in London and you can add some other styles like say border right none save it say the right side we have no border and in similar fashion let's press control c and just paste it and provide border left none see just like this john says my name is john i live in london and in similar fashion you can omit these borders also and you can have only this border so it goes like delete everything and right here say border left 5 pixel solid hash fff semicolon save it and take a look see just like this you can also have a padding padding means inner space we will explore all these stuffs in our css but for now just to have a pleasant look i am showing it to you you can have padding left 30 pixel save it and take a look see so now it has a nice space so that's it so this is how you can provide quotes i mean this is a modern style next we have some others also like abbr which is the abbreviation it works like abbr title attribute title equals say criminal investigation department 
CID then you can write here CID let's save it and take a look see now if you hover over it you can see the tooltip I mean it's not tooltip it's the abbreviation so it's criminal investigation department you can see it here right so it's ABBR next we have address code so let's write here address and you can write here anyone's address like say 89 New York City New York so fake address I know but still I'm just showing you see just like this and you can have of course the BR tag to have a line break that's it now let's save it and take a look so it will be italic this address and there is another are you getting bored don't get bored <laughs> it's all about learning there are many stuffs right okay so next we have BDO let's write here something say orange press ctrl s and save it it's nothing right it's orange only now let's write here a direction attribute and that's rtl so it's from right to left now see ignaro if you read it from right to left see it's orange it accepts two direction one is right to left and another is left to right so let's copy it and just paste it above and let's make it LTR so let's save it and take a look orange Ignaro <laughs> okay so that's it so here in this lecture we have seen some quotation tags that HTML has that you can find it useful at some point in your life I have saved this file also so you can grab it and take a look at all of these tags that have been used so that's it for this lecture see you in the next lecture till then have fun take care